ever there's a man who can bring joy to the hood, it's this man. Because before, these guys, peas were nothing more than a green garden vegetable. But fast forward to 2020 and the black-eyed peas have since illuminated the world in dazzling Technicolor. They've teamed up, as you can see here, with Shakira for new single Girl Like Me that's already clocked up a whopping 80 million views online. A polite ripple, please, from the cheap seats here at Good Morning Britain to welcome Will I Am, who joins me now live from LA. Will, it is lovely to see you, my friend. Oh, that it was in the flesh. And I got to tell you, the crew have been shaking their tongue right here in the studio this morning to this track, and their hips don't lie. Um, it's a banging track, young man. Yo, it, I'm really excited about this song. This song is like on fire right now. Like 87 million views in like less than, what, less than a week and a half? Two weeks, almost two weeks now? That's like 40 a week. 87 million views, I stand corrected. So what's it like working with Shakira? I mean, goodness me, this is like Beyonce meets perfect with Jamie Lee Curtis. It's a cracking outfit, and I know that Laura, our weather girl, is desperate to get into it. I'm just glad they didn't shoehorn me into it this morning. Um, what an amazing <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah, so I was gonna wear that outfit, so I decided to wear that one there instead because, you know, I don't want people to think that I had like, you know, junk in the trunk so i just i just rocked that one so a so girl like me is something that we recorded with um actually we wrote with shakira back in 2008 and we finally released it 12 years later and now it's like really banging up the charts i'm really excited and blessed and pumped well, i have to say it's just the shot in the arm that we need here in this country at, at the moment will it is so lovely uh, to see you and of course you're back on the voice um come january um, and obviously it's going to be a very different uh, filming for you this year because of all the social uh, distancing. But we do welcome a, a new gal into the mix, don't we, along with the, the returning fellas. Anne-Marie is... I love Anne-Marie. She's great. I think the UK is going to love her even more. She's so awesome on the show as a coach. Her rawness, her transparency, her truthfulness, her honesty, she is... And her talent is like extraordinary. And her taste, her judgment, and you're gonna be, I think UK is gonna be pleasantly surprised with just how freaking amazing she is as a TV personality as well as an awesome singer. And what do you think of the talent this year on The Voice, sir? Obviously, you've been there quite a while now, so you've been around the block once or twice with those hopefuls. The talent this year is top notch. And you know, I just thank the Lord for, you know, the voice and providing music, joy, a pathway. It's the only place music is actually alive right now. If you think about it, clubs are closed, you know, tours were shut down in 2020. Um, and so the only thing that's up and rocking starting 2021 is the voice. That's the only place music is actually alive. You light up a room whenever you're in it, Will. You're one of the most positive uh, chaps I've ever met um, in the business. Well, you said I light up a room. I light up a room. What you, <laughs> you brought what you your own. What did you say? That's basically the sum total of the lighting they put on me on this show, mate, which is why I look like I've been dug up this morning compared to your good self. But um, uh, tell me, how do you banish that negativity, uh, Will? Because obviously it's been an extraordinary year on every level, hasn't it? You know, it's you have to really... You really have to, like, center yourself and and be thankful for the things that we have. Be thankful for being able to breathe and not having to cough. You have to be thankful that you're you if you're you're locked up or or in quarantine. Like I travel to the UK and before I work, even if I have to work for three days, I have to quarantine myself for two weeks. So that could be mind-boggling. Getting on the airplane is mind-boggling. But I, I just I'm thankful and blessed for the ability to, you know, do the things that I do. And there's some people that are out there that are really struggling. And I know it's hard for the folks that are really struggling, but you have to really try in your heart and your soul to be thankful for the things that you have. Family, loved ones, your health, your sense of like dignity and hope for a better tomorrow, which is right around the corner. We just have to ride this wave. And it is a wave that we're riding. And so I just I'm praying for everyone to pull through. Um, we're all in this together, and I just can't wait till the world opens back up again. And, you know, this is a, a reminder of just how fragile the world is and how much we have to just cherish it. Strangers, immigrants, you know, folks that are from 
you know, right next door to you, like look at the world totally different from now on because it's a beautiful, fragile place. Amen to that. Um, well, it's lovely to see you this morning. As I say, I can't wait for us to press the flesh once again um, on The Voice, if we're allowed to indeed come the new year. It's great to see you, my friend. A very Merry Christmas from all of us at Good Morning Britain. And A Girl Like Me and the P's new album, Translation, are out now.